The future of cryptocurrency mining. Bitcoin and crypto mining has evolved since the days of CPU mining, but what does the future hold for this growing industry? Let's go back to January 3rd of 2009. Bitcoin pseudonymous creator Satoshi Nakamoto mined the very first block of the Bitcoin blockchain known as the Genesis block on the central processing unit or CPU of a computer. Now in 2020, a CPU miner is essentially worthless to mine Bitcoin. Mining has evolved from CPU mining to graphical processing unit or GPU mining and then to ASIC mining as computing power of the network continues to grow and the market capitalization of the first cryptocurrency reached almost $1.3 trillion at its peak. Essential to the security of all proof-of-work blockchains, cryptocurrency mining is the process of verifying transactions in a secure and decentralized manner. Most commonly associated with the Bitcoin blockchain, proof-of-work was the first decentralized consensus system for blockchain ledgers, and is still used to protect more digital value than any other consensus mechanism. It evolves using vast amounts of computational power to discover new blocks, which then can be filled with transactions and added to the blockchain. In most cases, proof-of-work blockchains mint new coins to expand the supply and reward miners for their work. Work. When the rewards exceed operating costs, mining can be a profitable endeavor. But the mining industry is still evolving. Cryptocurrency mining is becoming more efficient, more accessible, and more sustainable, and set to hit a second win thanks to the advent of a number of new innovations, which will be explored in this video. Derivative products. Cryptocurrency mining can be an incredibly attractive way to gain exposure to new proof-of-work cryptocurrencies without needing to purchase them on a secondary market like exchanges. The problem is, is that there is an incredibly high barrier to entry tree to begin mining. Whether it's the high equipment costs and the long delivery delays, the expertise and maintenance required to operate mining hardware, or the highly variable electricity costs that can make mining simply unprofitable, and most miners have to jump through a number of hoops to actually run a profitable mining outfit. And this was particularly solved with the advent of cloud mining solutions like Genesis Mining and B-Mine, which allow users to purchase contracts to mine with a known amount of hash rate for a fixed period. However, cloud mining providers may not provide an ideal return on your investment. History shows that most cloud mining contracts are unlikely to be profitable even over the long term, unless the coin you are mining appreciates considerably during and or after your mining term. Because of this, it is generally more profitable to simply buy the coin you want and hold it over the long term rather than accumulate using a cloud mining contract. Fortunately, a number of derivatives products with the potential to level the playing field are currently either being developed or are seeing their usage slowly climb. This includes cryptocurrency futures and options, which can be used to speculate on the value of an asset at some point in the future, as well as tokenized shares, which can be used to gain exposure to the price action of mining hardware manufacturers, distributors, cloud mining companies, and more. Synthetic asset protocols, including synthetics and UMA, might also help users gain more exposure to the mining industry, since they allow users to create and trade synthetic versions of practically anything, including stocks and more complicated derivative products. Soon enough, derivatives will will likely be available to help users speculate on mining returns, potentially including forward selling options and other hedging products. Mining gets gamified. Right now, if you want to participate in cryptocurrency mining, you've essentially got two main options. Either set up your own mining operation, a potentially complex and expensive process, or take out a cloud mining contract. These issues have made cryptocurrency mining less accessible than it should be, limiting the number of nodes and miners helping to secure each proof of work network. One of the ways to potentially address this challenge challenge is with gamification. By gamifying the mining process, it may be possible to expand cryptocurrency mining to a much larger audience by making it fun and easy to get started. And this process has already helped disrupt the fitness, education, and retail banking sectors, and is now making its way into the cryptocurrency mining industry. And a process similar to gamified cryptocurrency mining has been found in a variety of play-to-earn games, including Alien Worlds, which allows players to compete to mine the cryptocurrency Trillium or TLM by buying digital parcels of land and mining them using in-game tools. A variety of other games now feature a similar concept including Gold Fever and Star Atlas, both of which allows players to mine a reward token using specialized game mechanics. Until recently, games have only allowed users to mine in-game assets using simulated mining. But the first game, potentially of many, to tie true cryptocurrency mining with gameplay is currently in development. Nova Miniverse has evolved the play-to-earn concept by allowing players to earn blockchain-based rewards for 
other in-game achievements. And these rewards are provided by its partner facility, Nova Hydroverse, which is an operational hydro-powered mining operation based in Georgia. Built on the Stacks platform, Nova Miningverse directly ties user activity to proof of work mining outputs and allows users to earn rewards in Bitcoin. Built as the Miningverse, Nova will provide a selection of games that reward players in Bitcoin. And this includes 2D roguelike games, as well as a VR multiplayer shooter. We've developed our own cryptocurrency, a token which is linked to the game, and at the same time we link the game to Bitcoin mining, said Lorenzo Stroh, Nova Miningverse CEO. Improved sustainability. In recent years, concerns have been raised about the sustainability of cryptocurrency mining, with many detractors arguing that proof-of-work cryptocurrencies alone use more power than a small country. While this is sometimes the case, a large proportion of Bitcoin miners are already powered by renewable energy. According to a recent report by the Bitcoin Mining Council, a total of 58% of crypto miners are powered by renewable energy, defined as hydro, wind, solar, nuclear, geothermal, or carbon generation with offsets. This makes Bitcoin mining one of the leading industries by renewable energy uptake. And despite this, there is still a major push to completely eliminate the economic burden of the cryptocurrency mining industry by moving to a 100% renewable model. And in line with this, a large number of 100% renewable mining facilities are going online across the globe. And this includes a joint venture between Blockstream and Jack Dorsey's Block, which uses Tesla solar arrays and battery technology to power its Texas-based mining facility, as well as the aforementioned Nova Hydro Mining Plant. And Dorsey is also building an open mining project, helping to make mining more accessible and decentralized. Given the immense regulatory pressure mounting against mining firms, there is a strong incentive for both current and future operations to go green. And sustainable mining incentives will likely become the norm rather than the exception in the years to come. Mining companies go public. Right now, the vast majority of cryptocurrency mining companies are privately owned. This includes the world's leading ASIC hardware manufacturers, Bitmain and Bitfury, as well as major cloud mining outfits like Bitdeer Group and Genesis Mining. Many companies have conducted sizable private funding rounds, but none have succeeded in going public through an IPO. Nonetheless, several major cryptocurrency mining firms have announced plans to go public with an initial public offering or IPO. Arguably, the most prominent example of this is Bitmain's failed IPO attempt in Hong Kong. Despite being valued at $1 billion during its September 2017 Series A funding round, Bitmain sought to go public at a valuation of more than $15 billion. However, it then failed to move forward with its IPO, and its application lapsed in March of 2019 and hasn't reapplied since. But given the costs associated with manufacturing, operating, and distributing next-generation mining hardware, it isn't unreasonable to assume that several major mining operations will go public in order to get a fresh injection of capital. Several IPOs for Bitcoin mining companies are already planned for the near future. This includes a $60 million IPO from the enterprise blockchain firm Applied Blockchain Inc., as well as a $100 million IPO from Bitcoin mining firm Rhodium Enterprises, which was recently postponed. More energy efficient chips. Cryptocurrency mining chips generally require a large amount of power and their performance is often directly measured in terms of hash rate per kilowatt hour or joules per kilowatt hour. An example would be the Antminer S19, which outputs around 31.67 terahash per kilowatt hour, whereas the newer S19 XP has an efficiency of around 21.5 joules per terahash hour. As ASIC chips have become more capable, their absolute power requirements have also increased, while their efficiency has been slowly improving as manufacturers move towards smaller chip designs, with the previous generation miners using 7 nanometer chips, with the current generation using 5 nanometers. But though switching from a 7 to 5 nanometer chip, design process generally yields improved power efficiency and faster performance. It isn't the only way to provide improved efficiency to miners. And another way to accomplish this is with a more energy efficient design and improved production at scale. This includes Intel's recently released block scale chips, which offer up to 26 joules per terahash hour of performance, with an absolute performance with 148 terahash per second per complete mining rig with 256 chips. Though it still places it behind Bitmain's S19 XP in terms of pure efficiency, Intel's chips cost around half as much as Bitmain's latest offering, with the block scale systems coming in at around $5,625 per unit, compared to roughly $11,625. $120 for the S19 XP. And that said, Bitmain is also known to offer substantial discounts for bulk purchases and advance orders, which may balance the scale at least for well-heeled miners. 